Welcome to the Abandoned Quarry, an advanced version of the first map. Of course, I'm still playing on environmental engineering difficulty, which makes this advanced environmental engineer difficulty. What's harder is that the map layout is way tougher, and there's these geysers around which could erupt and cause lava, among other issues. Oh my god, this was tricky. I noticed all the rocks are around the edges, so that's gonna be tough. I'll have to keep that in mind when toxin scrubbing. That coverage is just not what it used to be. So people are saying this is legit much more challenging than the main game mode, so I'm excited to see how that pans out. I can sense the economy's already gonna be an issue, if I do what I can. I think I can do one more turbine before growing green. I just gotta be careful so I don't go bankrupt. Well, I am dangerously low. I forget, if I fill up the rivers, do I actually get money back? I gotta spend 65, but then it makes stuff green, so yeah, I do get money back. And I do want the rivers to be full. Oh, that was a pretty good profit, actually. Now I guess I can go into greenery making, huh? I guess the one downsize I already got next to the rivers. This turbine almost feels like a waste, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Please don't bite me in the ass. Please. My ass needs to be unbitten. You know, Irrigator could have some really nice conditions, but I need 30% humidity. Is that reasonable? By Cloud Seed? No, that's not worth it. It's a little bit of money back, but it definitely feels like my economy is slightly worse than before. I guess I gotta work on this corner now. Well, I will say it's pretty, I'm pretty proud of this start. Only issue is that, well, I'm not gonna get really any extra toxin scrubber support here. I'm thinking if I wanna take my 41 and leave, or if I wanna try to get more value later. I'll try to get more value later. For now, how about I build up more rivers? Ooh, wildflower bloom. This river might be a total waste, but God, it looks so good once we get it done. Save that central area for later. I think I can do a lot of good out here. Again, every water pump I make just doesn't feel efficient, but just the happiness I get out of it is well worth the price of admission. This ain't perfect, but it's pretty good. 92%, feeling really close, I'll definitely make it to the next phase. Just the last rocks are pretty far removed from the rest, but I think that's fine. Well, it does mean I can't, no, I can't, I can water pump. What am I worried about? That can wait. I must bring out the old toxin scrubber and his friend, and the slightly less close friend. Let's see, is that enough? Because I might be able to send it on these three alone. Yeah, I can, 101%. So I gotta bring in the same climates as before. <laughs> I remember I missed an animal last time. This time I won't make this mistake. How about I get that research center down, huh? All it really does is reduce the price of the toxin scrubber and water pump, but that's helpful. Because now I can do a guilt-free pump and pump friend. Ah, oh, shoot, that's not where I meant to put it. Undo. Here's where I wanted it. At 30%, it should be, oh, it's just good conditions for Irrigator? Is that because it's rounding up? It is, I need the migratory birds. You know what, this should surely bring, bring me above 30%. It does, great. Now I can get my maximum value out of Irrigators. Ooh, ideal. Now that I realize this is the best deal I'm ever gonna get, I'm gonna take it. Hey, wait a second. How the hell do I get the bees? Oh, I would have to get a tree from a forest, so I would need a forest tile. Wait, but I can only do a controlled burn if I burn the bees. Huh? Now I'm seeing where the difficulty comes from. I think I gotta blow up the geysers somehow. I just don't know exactly how it works. How about I farm some money in hydroponiums instead? Now that's wet. Okay, hold on. I can take a sweet 9% bonus right now. And what that does is actually make my hydroponiums ideal. So I can eke out that little extra bonus from it. I mean, it might matter the way things are going. My wetland's not even half? What? Wait, but I can only do one more spot. So that means I need more irrigators on low grounds. That's what I'm gathering. So I need a carefully placed irrigator down here that could turn into a hydroponium. 
With the ideal bonuses, this actually averages out just fine. Only 70%. Would this get me there? It's a no. I feel like the only thing that can save me is Minecraft science. If lava meets water, do I get rock? Yes, I do. And I get a lot more water than I expected. Well, that means I can expand in here. All right, everything's saved. It's not perfect. I can tell that I'm missing some space and I really hope that doesn't bite me in the ass. Gotta be smart with this irrigator spot. Damn, this spot is perfect, but it's on the high ground. Okay, how about I start with the one on high ground? Second one also on high ground. And then a little knockout blow here on the low ground. Even if it doesn't max out the hydroponium biome, I could always get another one to the left. Oh, this looks like it might do it actually. This waste of money. I mean, they're all wastes of money. It's just this one gets me complete. Perfect. Now what comes first, the Arboretum or the Beehive? Maybe if I just plop down a solar amplifier, I can find that I can do some crazy stuff. What if I blow up a building? Does it become a husk? Oh, the building survives the blast because it's made out of freaking titanium. Really weird idea here. What if I blow up a volcano and a building? That way the lava will burn the building. There it goes. Well, it just meets up with the water and makes a rock. <gasps> is this ashy soil though? It is. I still need to burn on a husk. Can I start a controlled burn on the soil? No, I can't. And I can't undo any further. Dehumidifier is interesting. Can I do anything with that? I don't know if I've ever done this before, but look at what it does to the vegetation. It's dry brush. That's a good spot to start a fire. Let me just check to make sure this would work. It does work, aha. Now, I don't know if this is the exact strategy I want to employ, but now I know the plan. Because of the very carefully built layers of the area, it's actually really hard to get a good controlled burn going. Like, I could start right here, for example. Oh no, I've maxed out my power there. So I can't even build a solar amplifier. Undo. I guess then I'll go over here. Because at least now I can still fit in a solar amplifier. I want multiple uses out of this thing. So I'll start up here. Oh, hey, the water flows again. Anyway, burn. Yeah, it's also freed up power sources as well. At least this is ideal conditions for an arboretum. I don't know, I kind of want it to be multi-layered. Goodbye, land. Surely this is a profitable forest. Oh yes, genuinely huge. And ideal. And this is how I get the beehive by using these trees. This is so inefficient. Doing this seems terrible. I mean, I should at least go for great conditions. So I'm thinking I want both of these tiers to probably be ashy nutrients, yeah? However, there's nowhere for me to dehumidify, except right here. A very small, but very effective seismic detonation. Brought me lava and two rocks. So on the rock, I'll have one turbine, then one dehumidifier, which will ruin my wetlands. Crap. You know what, then let me hedge my bets over here. Another irrigator in the gaps. A total waste of money, but a reasonable backup. If I dehumidify here, would I make it back? I would, actually. I think I'll wait for ideal conditions, though. I have to be really, really careful when I do this so I don't run out of money. Solar amplifier against all three levels. So let's amplify. Only issue is that it costs leaves to use the ability. So I can only do it once, then make an Arboretum. Oh, if I want money back so badly though, I could turn this stuff into greenery. It's not ideal, but it's good enough. Now I can do two controlled burns. One in the midsection for sure. Before I test the location of the second one, let me see. Where do I earn and where do I lose? See, I really want to do it above Actually, I guess it's fine if I do it above. I could get a really good force if I do it above. Uh, I was just thinking I don't want to lose my solar thing. Yeah, I'll get a very quality for forest up here, 100%. Plus 128. That is music to my ears. I might go plus 112 though, because it's a bit more out of the way. 
Because this one could still build up pretty nicely. Yeah, let's take it. Gosh, that's nice. So I'll do it one last controlled burn. Hopefully it's all I need of that. Because, I mean, if I need more for any reason, it's going to be tough for me. Well, the best one is undoubtedly the 71. So now I've gotten the forest for sure. I get the humidity back up for the hydroponium. 10%'s nice. I think the only other way to actually get a good cloud seeder is if I blow up the <laughs> thing in the middle. I Man, I would get a ton of humidity. Actually, this is important to check. So I blow up this volcano, yeah? I lose a little bit of wetlands in the process. Do I still go to full here? I believe so. Wait, this is pretty expensive. 165, and then another 65. Damn near putting me bankrupt, by the way. All this for just the single ideal? Oh no, it also gets my beehives in a decent range. And I mean, let's not forget, it still gets me towards my optional goal progress. All you need to do is get to rains begin, and then I'm actually fine. So yeah, I really should be focusing on building this up. Although if for some reason I can't build it up higher, I'm gonna be pretty pissed. That's pretty high. Is it too high? It's not too high. It's just right, it's 24%. Hot damn, I even get a fun little bonus. I ain't broke yet. Let's get the hydroponium back up. Get a net of plus 10 and an ideal. So now it's all about the beehives. There's a few spots around the forest that not only profit me, but also make interesting progress. Here's the thing though. I don't know if I have enough. Look at this spot, it's plus 10. Spot here, it's minus six. Well, I guess if I irrigator, I could get a bit positive. Oh, hold on. This is a pretty good toxin scrubber spot. Hey, hold on, I can make a little profit here. Yes, I can. What is the best profit? I see 32. 32 is as good as it's gonna get, which is pretty darn good. And it has the ideal bonus. And it could give good beehive help. A plus 15, that's not bad. I'll take it. It's 11%, so I just need nine more of those. Perhaps all I really need is the rains to fall and I'll be fine. Yeah, honestly, I should just cheer on the rains to fall. So before I do that though, I might as well get a little bit mileage out of the beehives. See, it's plus 10, although I could turn this into better grass. Sure, this is an overall net loss of 26. Hopefully that 60% still is within the... Ah, oh, it's just good conditions. Well, it's still a net gain for me, sort of. It's plus 39. It has a bigger fin boss. Or as the YouTube comments tell me, it's pronounced fane boss. I will take the plus 39 any day. So I realize if I start the rain, getting a, a controlled burn will be very hard. Mm, but I can manage. The only way out, I think, is if I start the rains... I believe a 7% here, and then a 4% here would get it done. All right, start the rains. Let's do the beautiful stuff and make some money, damn it. Good, it's beautiful. And finally, my pockets have been lined. I still think it's going to be tough. I'm only a quarter of the way done with my bees, and it's still going to be a very, very tough challenge. So the rain is gone, so I think I got to make more forests now. Got to figure out, though, with the controlled burn, where the forest could be built up. Because it's not just enough to burn grass, but I got to actually build the uh, arboretum somewhere. I guess a really good arboretum spot would be right here. I need to do a controlled burn. I'm just scared the rain will rain on my parade. Okay, nice. While I wait, how about I take advantage of this premium plus one beehive region? Hmm, glorious. Okay, the rain has stopped. Quickly, burn, 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 burn. I should be ready to place this down. You never know when it's gonna go. You never know when it's gonna go. All right, it's expensive, but hopefully this will pay off handily. These are some good looking beehives. I think I want to cover as much space as possible. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to just go up, start swinging. Plus 61. Over halfway there. I get a plus 15 here. That's pretty good. 63% of the way there. I don't see any other great spots, though. Maybe I'll just see where the next burn location is. You know, even if it's inefficient, I still got to build it, huh? 
Because, I mean, it's not about making money. It's about getting this to 100%. You know, the force doesn't actually have to be big. It's just I need to leave a lot of room for beehives. So if I do with this land, that could work. The big thing is this, though. I need to probably dehumidify at this rate. Because Finbos isn't going to make it unless I just keep stretching out the forest. So I hope this plan doesn't suck. I set up the solar thing here, and I burn. And I find the best damn forest spot. I guess I just cover this whole small region. Tiny. But this has to have some good residuals, right? The trees are not ideal. But this is fine. This can help me continue the creep. Plus 19 is not bad. At least it lets me access this area to burn. All right, this will work if I'm quick about it. Place it here. Burn here. And get ready. It's only a minus 13. It's not bad. This has to get me over the hump. Plus 41. I saw a plus 55. Yes. Oh my god, this was tricky. Well, it's time to restore the animals. What a cool puzzle this has been. Okay, let's start with that observatory. I need deer, wide open grassland. I need frog, wetlands, and bees. Bear. Forest that has a beehive on a hill, which is right here. There's a beehive in this forest on a hill. This has to be the bear. I got it. The brown bear. Yo, look at these bears, though. They're huge. Still kind of look cute. Oh, hi, geese. How would I get the rest for the helmet? Goose in the water. Beaver in the river near forest. Needs a better river. Trout this river, you cheap scumbag. That's still not enough. But this freaking river. Mighty particular. I need 20 river tiles? That's not possible. I don't have fat rivers. You know what? You know what? I'll make my own fat river. I just need 20. Thankfully, this counts as river. Ton of river. Ton of forest. Give me the goods. Yes! Where's my beavies? They're hiding. Because they know the true secrets of how this river was made. Right, and timber wolf is in a forest near deer. First, I'll make deer. Second, I'll make a timber wolf. Perfect. Six out of three. Now I just have to recycle. How hard could it be? Well, I don't have much money, but hopefully this won't be too bad to set up. Got the airship. Oh, the drone has to be on the water. That's fine. I guess I'm using the monorail method to recycle then. Yeah, I spend 60, I get 120 back. This is worth it. I think I'm gonna be okay. I've got to start rescue missions for single assholes. At least this reaches. Beautiful. Well, this was a very tough challenge. Basically turned into a puzzle game, trying to figure out how to make this stuff to work. Time to blast off. What a difficult challenge. What a fun time. This was just the first map. The other three are going to be insanely challenging, aren't they? Can't wait. The continent's a beautiful 100%. One out of four done. Well, thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day and peace.